Hello, this is Vern, and if you're interested in finding out what are four different levels or stages of love that you can step into consciously in order to create the most fulfilling relationship that you've ever imagined, well, stick around because I'm going to be revealing what these are on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to you.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am very excited because I'm going to be sharing with you right now what are four different stages of love, conscious love that you can step into in the process of you creating the most fulfilling relationship that you've ever dreamed of. And I say they're sequentially going up in scope, in challenge level, in fulfillment level because uh, at the first stage, which is I keep my love within, this is a stage where you've been hurt, you have been heartbroken, but you want to get out of this feeling of helplessness. You want to feel that you can love again, but you're not sure how to do it yet. You're not necessarily having the energy to share with someone else. So in essence, what you're saying is I keep my love within. You're not at the stage where you can't experience love, but you're also not at the stage where you can express that love to many other human beings. But that keeping the love within means that the love that you experience in that period of your life is simply in the form of self-love, self-compassion, and self-forgiveness. And when you can step into the kind of life where you feel, I can love myself, I can do the things that make me feel happy, I can create moments, situations, experiences that step into forgiveness because I know I'm not perfect and the things that I've done in the past have not been because I'm a mean person or because I'm a stupid person. I just emotionally didn't know better and now I'm getting a chance to heal. So I don't have an ener energy to give you any kind of love, but I also don't want to stay with a closed heart because doing so is killing me. So you basically step into loving yourself and regaining strength. You tirelessly step into the work that you need to do so that your life can heal, you can breathe again, and eventually you reach the stage where the fulfillment of your life is overflowing and you can reach out and create a much powerful connection, much more powerful connection with somebody else. Which leads me to stage number two. Stage number two of love that you can consciously step into is where you, you're no longer saying, I keep my love within, you're saying, I offer you my love. My life, my excitement, my fulfillment, my level of just experience within myself is great. I have more energy and I choose to step into the kind of life that feels overflowing in grace, in passion, in uh, fulfillment. There's so much overspill that I choose to give my love to you. And if you feel the same way and you give your love to me, then that magic, that synergistic dance feels so amazing because that means we're creating magic together. Okay, so it's I offer you my love and ideally you offer me your love back and we create magic. It's a different stage at level one. There's a surplus of love to give. You're not getting into the relationship because you are saying to the other person, I mean complete, complete me, but you're also, it's, it, it's more of a feeling. You want, this feels so good. It feels so good to step into this kind of relationship, right? And I'm, it's the love that I have that I've cultivated that I can reach out and express from my heart to yours. Third stage. The third stage is where you recognize that in stepping into this kind of relationship, it gets to the point where there's something missing. And it get, gets to the point where there's sometimes more love that needs to be expressed, but there may be a deficit sometimes inside, no matter how much you're stepping into it. The kind of depth that you want to experience in feeling is not being experienced at the level that you want to, as much as you're doing the work. So stage three means I remove myself from the equation. I stop blocking the kind of love that is not of me, but it comes through me. It's a bigger kind of love that is, doesn't reside in my heart. There's a universal heart that contains and sustains this overwhelming unconditional love. And when I remove my own ego from the process, when I remove my own little love, and I allow that love, big love to flow through your heart, 
I do so in service of you. I'm not doing this because it makes me feel good. I'm doing this because doing it is the thing that allows my life to be in alignment with my purpose. And also, I'm not doing it so that you give it back to me. What you choose to do with the love that I offer to you is purely yours. I can't die with this love inside of me, with this pass-through of love not taking place, this tunnel of love not realizing in this lifetime. So I remove myself, I allow this universal love, God love, uh, univer whatever you want to call it, to flow through you because I, I, to honor you and serve you. So it's a higher level of love in the sense that it's the unconditional peace takes place and also the removing yourself from not having to create the love all the time, knowing that there's something much deeper that can, you can be a pass-through of. That's stage three. Stage four. It's similar to stage three, but where in essence you're saying both of us are at the same level of commitment and passion. We removed most of our individual just smallness and the bigness of the universe is being expressed through our heart within each other, not just for the benefit of each other, not just me in service of you or you in service of me, me in service of humanity through you. We set an example for what is absolutely possible in such a powerful and strong and inspiring way that the waves that are created through our synergy wake up hearts and souls in the process. We allow other human beings to recognize in ourselves what they can aspire to in essence and free their hearts to go for more and experience more and in turn do the same thing for others. It's the healing of the universe that takes place through our conscious love and the resolution of our challenges and the stepping into solving our, all the shit that will inevitably, inevitably come through as a result of stepping into relationship. We don't just solve it so that we can stay together. We solve it because when we create this magic, we <laughs> free up other souls in the process. So there you have it, four different stages of love you can step into. The question is, these are available at any human being's life experience, depending upon where you are, more so than others. But what do, we, do you aspire to and what do you want to create and what makes you feel satisfied? That's, that's the question, okay? So if you find this is helpful, useful, or insightful in any way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or somewhere on your screen here, you're gonna find a link that allows you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting where I'm gonna give you some very practical tools so that you can step into the kind of love that you want and create a connection with your soulmate in 90 days or less. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you and I challenge you as always to live a full and a conscious life. <laughs>